I am going to make a brief video of how to replace a 15 amp circuit breaker from a Cutler hammer control box. Um, these breaker switches are in this box are no longer manufactured, so I was fortunate enough to find a company out of San Jose, California by the name of Risa Power Supply Solutions. And they remanufacture and recertify circuit breakers. And unfortunately for me, that was my only option because there is no modern equivalent to the, um, the XO brand Cutler Hammer circuit breakers. Let's remove the panel. As you can see, this is a fairly old circuit breaker box. <clears throat> um, unless you want to go and spend probably a few thousand dollars and have this replaced. This uh, Risa supply is your only option. Um, unfortunately, this situation happened on Christmas Eve 2017. So, I futzed around with it. Couldn't figure out what was going on. Did a continuity test of this circuit breaker switch right here. And it, it just doesn't work. You flip it to on... It will cause lights in the house to flash, and that's about it. It won't stay engaged, but I have already disconnected it. This was a simple wire. Just removed it from here, and ran around town hoping and praying I was going to be able to find one but no luck so that's why the wire is already disconnected okay back to the video um it is a fairly easy breaker to remove um it's just clipped to those two copper rods which are running the service into the house and I want to make sure I don't touch them. But anyway, so basically, like I said, um, here's one of the recertified breakers. This one obviously was not open. Um, this other one here that I purchased, just in case another one ever went, I'd have backup. But this one's obviously been opened and uh, repaired because those are not the original rivets. Now, to remove it, basically, what you have to do is pull it, and it pulls out. This is an original Cutler Hammer circuit breaker single pole unit, which is woefully obsolete no one manufactures anything like this nor is there a modern equivalent and most of the places I went to look to try to find a replacement for it only had square D products so that kind of sucks because Cutler Hammer is no longer in business. I believe it is currently owned by Eaton Controls. And they do not make a replacement for it either. By making sure the breaker is in the off position, I just go slide it into the box. And... Push it until it snaps into place. Let's try this again. Because the power side 
is on the right, I believe. There we go. That side snapped in. And uh, there we go. Now, the only thing to do is reconnect this wire to that terminal post. And we should be all set and put the panel back on. But that is all it takes. I'm not an electrician. It's easy enough to do. Just be careful when dealing with the electricity. Now we have to go and check to see if it works. Unlike the bad circuit breaker, you'll hear a slight click and it works. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.